there's some confusion about the claim that vaping is 95% safer than smoking and I'd like to say a few words about that. This estimate's based on reviews of the scientific evidence by uh, leading health organisations. So first of all, Public Health England, the public health agency for the United Kingdom, did a comprehensive independent review in 2015 and again in 2018. And the United Kingdom Royal College of Physicians did a similar review in 2016. Another group of international experts also did a review in 2014 under the leadership of Professor David Nutt and came to the same conclusion. In the US, the peak health body, the United States National Academies of Sciences, Engineering and Medicine, also reviewed the evidence and concluded that vaping was far safer than smoking, although they didn't give a percentage. So a more exact percentage, like the 95% figure, gives smokers, uh, helps to communicate the relative risk of vaping uh, compared to smoking for smokers to help them understand the real risk. A more vague assessment like being far less harmful could mean 30% less, 60% less, maybe even 99%. And, and there's actually a lot less useful to smokers who are trying to evaluate uh, the risk of, of vaping for them. Firstly, almost all the harm from cigarettes is due to the smoke from burning tobacco. Whereas in vaping, there's no tobacco, there's no combustion and no smoke. And almost all the chemicals that are present in vapour are at levels mostly less than 1% of what they are in smoke. Secondly, the level of toxins in the blood and urine that's tested in the bodies of vapours is at low levels far lower than that in smokers, and in many cases at the level of a non-smoker. Thirdly, we see substantial improvements in health in smokers who switch to vaping. We see improvements in lung function, blood pressure drops, asthma and emphysema improve, and people feel a lot better. Fourthly, the risk of cancer from vaping uh, it has been estimated to be less than 1% the risk of smoking, and it may well be a lot less. Like all new products, the long-term risks of vaping are yet to be established, and it's possible that over the long term, some risks may emerge. And so we need to be constantly monitoring for, for side effects in the future. But based on what we know, and we know a lot after 15 years, the risk is likely to be far less than smoking. And according to the Royal College of Physicians, the long-term risk of vaping has been estimated at less than 5% that of smoking and probably uh, less than that. The bottom line is that there are risks for vaping and if you're not a smoker, you shouldn't vape. However, if you are a smoker who can't quit with conventional treatments, please consider vaping we would expect substantial improvements in health and a reduction in your risk of serious smoking-related disease and death. And in conclusion, I think we can confidently say that the risks from vaping are uh, at least 95% less than those from smoking, based on the best available evidence we have.